the amazing Mr. Strauss podcast. To infinity and beyond. For December 20th, on this day in Disney history. On this day in 2007, at Disneyland, a 75-foot-tall crane hoists the first of the new Mark 7 monorails from a flatbed truck onto the Beamway track. The five-car, burnt burgundy train is the first of three new monorails that were put into service at the Anaheim Park in February 2008. Monorail 1, you're now clear for dispatch. Three years in the making, the all-new bullet nose monorails were designed by Walt Disney Imagineering, built in Rhode Island, and assembled in Vancouver, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard the Disneyland monorail. The new Mark 7 monorail trains have several similarities to the Mark 3 versions, especially the nose cones that were seen on those classic trains. In addition to the nose cone, Another change with this model was a new seat configuration that allowed guests to sit facing the windows to better enjoy the elevated view of the Disneyland Resort from the comfort of their seats. We're traveling over the highway in the sky on a 2.5 mile round trip journey to the Disneyland Hotel and back. Monorail Red debuted at the Disneyland Resort on July 3rd, 2008 as the first Mark 7 train. Monorail Blue then began transporting guests later that summer. And the last train, Monorail Orange, went into operation in April 2009. Please remain seated until the monorail comes to a complete stop. The doors will open automatically. Please make sure you have all your personal belongings and watch your head as you step from the cabin. Thank you for joining us on the Disneyland monorail system and have a happy day in Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. <laughs>